full of heads. These are all the wax museum figures that have lost their head. Sandy needs a little bit of face work done. Cosmo Kramer. Just a cabinet full of heads. It's creepy. Dude, he's kind of staring at you, man. Fun fact for you, in 1953, uh, the movie House of Wax came out starring Vincent Price and and Vincent Price made some promotional videos or movies films if you will for that movie and he used some of the figures in the wax museum uh, that were in today some from Potter's Wax Museum pretty cool Nachos? <laughs> I'm gonna steal the Declaration of Independence on this episode of Matsuracha. Oh, there it is. The Declaration of Independence. I'm gonna steal it. The Declaration of Independence. And you can't stop me and Nick Cage from stealing decoration of independence. that Freddy is trying to hold something. 
What is he holding? Or maybe it's just a wind up. He's just like, I'm gonna punch something. Well, there's a battle I'd like to see Darth Vader versus Freddy. Vader versus Freddy. In an all out battle. Who do you think could win in a fight? I think Vader's got the uh, upper hand. Just depends on how in control Vader is of his dreams. I don't know, Vader. Can you control your dreams, my friend? Wax? Metal? You decide. Some high-tech technology on Darth Vader's belt. Shall we shout now or shall we shout later? <laughs> <laughs> Oops, did you do it again? What's going on, baby, baby? Peanut butter banana sandwiches today? Do you enjoy music? How's uh, Graceland doing? Do you like basketball, Mr. Michael? Hey. Do you enjoy shall we sports? Shall now or shall we shout later? No, so is Brad as cool as he is in Fight Club, like for real? Is Brad that cool? Um, but the one we do not speak of in which we are actually speaking of when we do not speak of him has no nose? Do you like Brad more with like more hair on his face or like with less hair on his face? He kind of has slits in his nose, doesn't he? Kind of gross. Man, Austin Powers will not shut up. This time. See you in the future, Mr. Powers. <laughs> We're hanging out with Dobby from uh, Harry Potter. Um, he's a little scared and frightened of the camera. Having a good day? You're just in time. Enjoy the show. I don't know what else to ask this guy. Do you like peanut butter and jelly? Like Harry Potter or Hermione better? I'm gonna get you. Nothing. The future, Mr. Powers. I don't know. Why did you kill this guy, J.K. Rowling? I'm still upset at you about that. You should not have killed this guy. He's a cute little character. Why? That was a bad thing to do, J.K. Rowling. You big meanie. Dobby's not sure what to do with Matt's Rod Show. We got World War II going down right here in this room.
Costume department. Short, 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 short. I believe the king is unenthused. At the moment, he is displeased. Get the king a burger, please. Get that king a burger. Somebody please get the king a burger. The lovely Princess Diana. Oh, shall we shag now or shall we shag later? here at Potter's Wax Museum. We're here for about um, two and a half years now with the owners, the Ponce family. And to tell you a little bit about the figures, the bulk of the collection, there's about 150 figures. The bulk of them are actually historical figures consisting of um, U.S. presidents, war generals, painters, writers, inventors. And then the bulk of that collection is actually produced um, in London by the Madame Tussauds Wax Company. We have Madame Tussauds great-grandson here, Louis Tussauds, oh, cool. who's the one who took over the business when she had died. And we purchased the original part of the collection from the Tussauds Company in 1948. They were produced right after after the war and actually flown over here from London to St. Augustine by our proprietor, Mr. George Potter, and he's opened the first, you know, first wax museum in the continental United States and been adding figures over the years as well. And the wax museums had um, three locations in this town. The first was where A1A Ale Works currently is on, on King Street right in front of the Bridge Alliance, and the museum then moved over um, several buildings over, still on King Street, um, after the 1980s, where it was located on the corner of King and Avalay Street. And just recently, as May 2013, they relocated here to the um, location of St. Augustine's original um, drugstore, and shares the space with the drugstore exhibit, and that's where it currently resides. Cool. Uh, good luck on the Quidditch <laughs> this you. year. <laughs> Go Flagler. Uh, Flagler College all the way. <laughs> Alright buddy, thanks man. Alrighty guys, we're leaving the Wax Museum now. 
We had a good fun time there at the Wax Museum. If you're ever in St. Augustine, you gotta come check out the Wax Museum. It's really cool. They got a lot of cool stuff written up about each of the characters. And it's just kind of cool. It's just kind of cool to hang out in there. Something, something cool about wax, wax history, you know, wax museums. They're just, they're not uh, around very much anymore. You don't, you don't find those any much anymore. And a little piece of history there with Vincent Price and stuff. So, if you get a chance, check out, check out a wax museum if you ever get a chance, folks. But from all of us here today at Matt's Red Show, thanks for joining us here. And uh, thanks for all the traffic, St. Augustine. I appreciate that. And um, so, uh, check out some of my other episodes. I got a lot of St. Augustine episodes. And I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode. Had some fun looking at some wax figures today. Those rich people, I mean those celebrities in there, kind of snobby. Didn't say much to me. Anyways, uh, thanks for joining me today, folks. And we'll catch you next time on Matt's Rad Show. Matt's Rad Show. Okay, bye. You can't stop me now, Mr. Powers. I have your mojo.